get a sense of who these people are. So Jace, Jace, come on. <laughs>
and I mean, some of them have hooks and some are keychains. Can I keep it? You can have that. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you an extra later. Uh, can, can I see it? Yeah, you can see it. Oh, this is good too. No, you can have You guys are going to want this. You, can you imagine like sharing your Halloween candy with mine? This <laughs> <laughs> is basically what I do. <laughs> so, like, do you have stuff? Oh, it's all bag it's of stuff. It's all bag of stuff. So if oh. you ask a question, you can get a thing. Oh, okay. uh, or if you can get away from Maureen. What's this? I don't know what it stands like. Is this a midnight flower? Oh, it's a midnight, it's a midnight flower. It's one of the see? flowers from the book. Can I see it? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. You want that. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> there's, another nice. there's another, there's another, there's a Mobius strip. Yeah, I think it has quotes. The Mobius strips are like strips that have quotes from the books on them. Basically, this is all good. This is all my stuff. I'm trying to figure out what I want. <laughs> Listen, I know you guys have come a long way, but I would like a keychain. <laughs> I think more you get a keychain. Y'all can well. wait. <laughs> Take 2,000 miles for a keychain. <laughs> Which is ironic because Maureen doesn't live that far from me. I could have given her a keychain back to the US. <laughs> That's all this event is. I get a keychain and we both leave. <laughs> this is good. You're going to like this. This is fancy stuff. This isn't crap. Yeah, this is Cass is giving you nice stuff. Okay, so. Not like a crap you get from me. <laughs> so, questions oh, yeah. and stuff. Just a better quality of person. So, I'm going to come down, as you can see. Hold on. This is complicated. Okay, <laughs> who has a question? All right, you have a question. Just drag this cord around. Would you like an object? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you object at random. Okay. <coughs> Oh man, that's pretty good. Thanks very much. It's a very <laughs> fancy one. Okay. Hi, Cassie. Nice to see you again. Nice um, to see you. I just want to know, um, in City of Lost Souls, so that's a spoiler for the ones who haven't read okay, City so of Lost Souls, um, there's this one scene with A Tale of Two Cities, and uh, Clary says that um, love story, she picks the boring guy. <laughs> so, right. do you think that um, she's right, Does um, or did Lucy actually uh, play it safe with Charles? Well, okay, so uh, as many people know, the um, plot of uh, the Infernal Devices is like very loosely based on Tale of Two Cities. And in City of Lost Souls, it's not a big spoiler, Clary is talking about Tale of Two Cities, and she says that, that she remembers that book and that the girl didn't pick the boring guy. And um, so Kat is asking me if I agree that uh, in Tale of Two Cities, the narrator, uh, Lucy Manette picks the boring guy, and what does that say about what happens in Infernal Devices? Um, eh, yeah, I think that the thing is that sensibilities have changed a great deal since Tale of Two Cities, and so at the time, I think people felt that Lucy had chosen the correct guy because she chose the guy who wasn't, you know, a staggering reprobate drunk, but in fact a nice man who would provide well for her and her girlfriend. But, um, you know, we, we, we've kind of uh, changed the way that we read since then. And wow, mostly, we read the book and we love Sydney because Sydney is much more relatable than Charles Darnay, who is who she picks. Charles is really kind, bland, boring man um, with not a lot of complicated stuff going on in his soul. Um, and uh, Sydney is, like I said, broken reprobate, always staggering around and cursing, <coughs> talking about how he's a terrible person. And so he sympathizes with him, you know, he's a likable guy, he's flawed. And um, then he does make this beautiful sacrifice in the end. So I think that for a modern reader, they would say, most people say, oh, she's a boring guy. And I did kind of feel that way. But I will say that I worked very hard in Infernal Vice to make sure that neither of them were boring. So I don't actually think that either Will or Jen is a boring choice. Will is obviously tormented and cranky. And Jen is a violent playing drug addict. I mean, he's not that dull. <laughs> he has his own problems. So I don't think it's actually possible for Tessa to make a boring choice. That was an awesome answer. <laughs> <laughs>